Hi, this is Jeremy at 1LD, and today I'm going to demo uh, Clean Response 1.0, a uh, Rapid Weaver uh, stack that is compatible with stacks 2.0 and, and later, and uh, Rapid Weaver 5 and later. So I've already gone ahead and created a lot of content for this page, um, as the process would be the same over and over again if I was to do it in this video. So in this video, I'm just going to create one. Uh, clean response and then I'm going to um, demo how to edit all the others. Stacks comes built in with uh, f different column options one, two, three, four, five, and a grid. Uh, we didn't create recreate the grid version only because it would uh, you could achieve the same thing by just placing columns since everything's fully responsive. Um, the well, they will appear as five stacks, which will be the one column, two column, three, four, and five. Uh, I've already created two through five, so in this video, I'm just going to create one, and I'm going to um, I'm going to be using augment flip just because it displays everything um, pretty nicely. And I'm going to th uh, actually I need to create an image. and I'm going to drag an image I've already created. It's a little big for this section, I think, so I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to reduce it down to 200 by 200. And we're done. And I'm going to drag in uh, simple text, free text editing uh, stack we have, but I'm going to get a little more text in there. And lastly, I just want to change the colors to make it a little more uh, similar with the other stacks I already have on the page. And that's about good. So let's see what it looks like so far, and then we'll make some more edits. So this is the one I just created. I can flip it and you can see the image and it looks like I have a little resizing to do but we don't really need to do that for this demo. Um, these two right here I've actually gone and already edited that's why they're touching instead of where the others will be separated by a little space by default but I've gone in and removed that so let me I'll just show you the page real quick how it responds as we minim minimize the page and this is using the Himera theme as you can see everything adapts beautifully to the resizing of the screen. Get a little closer here. All our sections are fully responsive. Even the fifth section right here in the five column section, this would be the fifth. So let's expand that back out and close it, make some more edits. So like I told you, this these two are touching. Um, it's because I reduced the gutter down to zero where now I'm going to increase it back to one, and we'll just preview that real quick so you can see that actually did that, and so those two are no longer touching. Another really cool thing is I can decrease the percentage that each of them hold on the page and create kind of like a sidebar effect, and I'll show you this really fast too. See how now one is taking up more space where the other one is um, taking up much less, and if you're curious, we can just show you how that responds still fully responsively. Assuming the stack that you're working with is also responsive. And you can go through and make those additional changes um, in any of the uh, clean response sections. The split refers to the percentage that the sides make up uh, and gutter uh, refers to the space between uh, the different columns. Note that these percentage options uh, may be slightly different depending on the sections. And that is it.